Hi there, Miranda Alt here with Keller Williams Success Real Estate and the Miranda Alt team with your Monday market update for Monday, November 27th, 2023. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you had a happy holiday, happy Thanksgiving, and now we are on to the Christmas season, which we expected would be a very slow time of year for us. And while we have seen a rapid decline in sales for the year 2023 as compared to 2022, we are still seeing an active market out there. The market is still hot. Let's take a look at our McHenry County statistics for the last seven days. We had 66 new listings, which is extremely low. Now, keep in mind, that's because we had a holiday week. So 66 new listings is about half what we had last week. But that's because partly because it's Thanksgiving. Uh, we had 87 go under contract, which is not shockingly as much of a decline. So we still had a lot of homes go under contract. The week before, we had 98 so it's really only a decrease of about about 10 homes that went under that didn't go under contract. There are 10 homes less to go under contract this week or the last seven days than the seven days prior, which means those people who waited to put their homes on the market should not have waited. There were a lot of buyers out there last weekend. Uh, we had 63, 63 closed sales. Again, that's a very low number, partly just due to the holiday. We only had really three working days last week. We had 16 price changes, very few price changes. I think a lot of sellers are thinking, oh, it's the holiday. We'll wait till maybe after the holiday to do a price reduction. Um, we had 11 on the private network. That's not very many. Last week, we had 24. Prior to that, we had 50. So we've got really, really low numbers on a lot of these, uh, a lot of these stats that we're looking at today and zero expired. So, what is happening in our, in our market? Well, we have existing home sales fell 4.1% in October. Now remember, we're at the end of, of November. So we don't really have any of our November numbers from the MLS, like compiling the whole month and looking at it yet, because the month's not over. So in the coming weeks, we'll start to see our numbers from November come out and we'll see what's really been going on. But basically we have just way too low of inventory still, but we do have very high demand. So we actually have record high home prices. So we hit an all time high price for the month of October last last month. That was the highest price we've ever had for the month of October um, nationwide for house prices. So that is a, uh, uh, making affordability very difficult. And we have declining sales. So it's kind of crazy. We just don't have enough homes to sell is basically what it comes down to. We've been talking about this for many years now. Now, listen to this. This is actually interesting too. Even prior to the COVID-19 pandemic in 2019, we had 4 million housing shortage. So we had a, we ha we had a four, 4 million housing shortage. So we had 4 million less houses than we needed due to the, uh, to the decade of underproduction by the home builders in relation to the population growth. That's according to Lawrence Young. Lawrence Young has been doing, um, he's the chief economist from the National Association of Realtors. He's been doing a bunch of interviews lately. He was on Bloomberg News. He was on CNBC going around talking about what's happening with the housing market because we are seeing record low numbers in terms of transactions, but we are seeing the prices just skyrocket. They keep going up. So, um, what exactly do we see as a solution? Well, some people are just talking about the rates coming down. Well, we have had uh, the rates have come down for four straight weeks now. So we've seen, seen four weeks of positive direction for our interest rates, meaning they're coming down. Not coming down very rapidly, but Lawrence Young is confident that we will see 6% in 2024. I hope he's right. However, that will pose another problem, which we've talked about, which is competition. There's not enough homes to go around. We don't have home builders building at a capacity that is going to meet demand. So when interest rates come down, it is just going to become fiercely competitive to get any of the homes that do go to market to get them under contract. We also have have a lot of pent-up demand right now. So over the weekend, I was out showing properties to two different buyers and so was my buyer's agent, Joanna. She was out showing properties. So we were working Friday, Saturday, Sunday of a holiday weekend showing people who were in town for the holiday with, neighbor, with, with relatives. We have one couple who wants to move closer to their children because their children are going to be, be planning to have their children soon. So grandma and grandpa want to be nearby. They were in town for the holiday, so they wanted to go out and get a home under contract for the spring. They don't want to compete in the competitive spring market because we've been telling all of our buyers that if you wait now, what is going to happen in the spring? In all likelihood, yes, interest rates will come down, but prices will go up and it will become extremely difficult to get a home under contract. So you're better off buying a home now, getting it under contract at a better price, and then refinancing in the spring. We also have 30% of all purchases right now are cash. Prior to the pandemic, it was 20%. So we've seen a 10% increase, 50% increase in how many homes are being bought with cash. So this past weekend, I was involved in several multiple offer situations. We are seeing those. And in the one multiple offer situation that I was dealing with, both buyers were cash. 
So we are seeing more cash offers than ever before. So that's another factor to keep in mind when you're thinking who's participating in this market. Well, cash buyers are, they don't care what the mortgage rates are. Um, another thing to think about is uh, we have just a very competitive market. I had another point I wanted to make. Oh, 50 per, 54% of new construction being sold is to first time home buyers. So think about this right now. We have a lot of pent up demand. We have people who've been waiting, or we had one buyer that we met with two weeks ago, first time home buyers, and they said, we're sick of waiting. We've been waiting. Our parents told us to wait in 2020 that we should wait and save up more money. Our parents told us to wait until 2021, 2022. We're done waiting. They clearly were wrong. And now we're ready to buy. We just want to buy. We want to buy our first house. We don't want to live with mom and dad anymore. So we have a lot of pent up demand from people like that. We also have people who are, we have an aging population. And these people are, maybe they've been waiting for the last couple of years for more inventory. They've been waiting for, oh, I'm going to wait for more inventory. I'm going to wait for more inventory. And it's just not coming out. We're just not seeing more and more inventory hit the market. In fact, the situation has gotten worse. We're seeing less and less homes getting on the market. So it's becoming even more competitive and more expensive. So a lot of people are just sick of waiting. And to what extent is this all of this news coming out about, you know, the interest rates are too high and there's not enough inventory? At what point is this becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy where we've got people listening to that and going, oh, well, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to participate in that market. So therefore I'm going to sit on the sidelines. Well, that's making it even worse. So we've got an aging population that maybe wants to downsize. Maybe they want to move out of the state. We've got first time home buyers that want to move out of mom and dad's house. We've got people who have maybe had a few more children. We had one couple come through an open house uh, recently and told us that they outgrew their house three years ago and they hadn't made up enough equity in their home because they had bought during the two, they had bought in 2006 prior to the uh, recession. So they had only, they were waiting for their equity to build up so that they could actually move into their next home. Well, they've been waiting long enough and now they're like, we just need to move. This is just, we just need to go. We finally got enough equity in our house. We need to go. So there's all kinds of different situations that are causing people to get involved into this market. And they also have learned their lesson that waiting is not necessarily the best game. As we say at Keller Williams, we often say it's never the wrong time. It's, it's always the right time to buy the right piece of real estate. And that's true. Regardless of the, what the market is doing, people move due to life changes. They do because they, they move because they had babies. They move because they got a job transfer. They move because uh, someone died, unfortunately. That often happens. We have various reasons why people move, and those reasons happen all the time. They don't just happen when the rates are low. They don't just happen when the rates are high. So regardless of what the market is doing, if it's the right time for you to move, you should move. So like I said, I'm still working. My buyer's agent and I put two buyers under contract this weekend. There are still lots of people out there. So if you're a seller thinking, oh, I'm going to wait. I want to wait until uh, you know the spring when there's uh, more buyers and I'm going to get more money. If you got to be a buyer on the other side, then don't wait because it's going to get competitive regardless. And there's still plenty of good homes. We toured many homes over this past weekend, and there were some really great properties out there to buy. There are some really crappy ones too, but there are great homes out there to buy. So if you're thinking about buying, I suggest you do it now. This spring, I think, is going to get really competitive. Get a home under contract now. Then when the spring comes, you can refinance if those rates do in fact come down at that point in time. I'm Miranda Alt with Keller Williams Success Real Estate and the Miranda Alt team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful holiday and let's go through. I can't wait for Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye-bye.